Hey, in this video, I'm going to go through the onboarding and setup process for ClickUp.com. Really powerful project management tool. They call it here a productivity platform. We're going to show you all the power, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is David Ferguson with Tech Smart Boss here with another video. Today I'm going to set up an account on this product called ClickUp. I've been I've been hearing lots of things about this product. I've known about it for a while. I've never tried it because I've been kind of set with project management tools. I've got too many of them honestly. But I I love the website. I like the way their interface looks. They talk about uh, you know, this is kind of like an Asana replacement, a Trello, I mean, in, any kind of project management tool. That's what these guys are doing. But they seem to be very flexible in their approach. Multiple types of views, the list view, the box view, the board view. So whatever type of view you like to look at your, your project uh, tasks and categories, custom statuses. You can see here, very easy to switch from a lot of the major tools. Lots of integrations uh, through Zapier. Uh, I have a pretty interesting way to do features. Let's actually click on see all features. There's a 57 features and it looks like they're adding a lot all the time. But you can kind of see here that they kind of break them out into segments where you can see what, what type of features managers would like, assigning comments, recurring tasks, designers, resolving comments, customizing assignees, developers, coming soon. They kind of let you know some of the new things that are coming. They got a pretty pretty nice looking roadmap. You can kind of see where they're going here on their website. And they're affordable. They got a free tier, which is something that uh, always is a positive. And then even on the paid, you know, it's it's not, not too expensive. But even on the free, you've got unlimited users, unlimited project spaces. But you don't get all the integrations and things like that. They also have this pretty neat thing called Let's Make a Deal. Look at that. You can actually suggest a price that works for your organization, and I guess they're going to make a deal with you. So something to consider there. Let's go ahead and sign up for free. I'm going to go ahead and put my TechSmart boss email in. Let's just go through their onboarding and take a peek. You know, project management systems, you do have to do some planning and kind of set up... Uh, or if you're migrating, you, you have, have a little bit of it already, but you do have to have an idea really of what you want to manage and teams you want to invite customers on board and things like that. I like this play with ClickUp because that's essentially when you're doing the free, that's what we're doing here. We're playing to see if we like it. So that's pretty cool that they put that on their call to action button there. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Here we go with Google again. All right, buses. All right, I think this is a bus back there and I'm assuming it's in this one because I see a little tiny slice of the bus right there. Let's see if that works. And all right, I got all the buses at, at, at once. All right, they, they just emailed me a confirmation code. So what I'm going to do is pause this and go out there and get that code and come right back and put it in. All right, so I got my code. Let's verify my code. All right, so they're on a mission to make me more productive. This will only take a minute, so it looks like they have a, a nice onboarding. Let, let's, let's do it. I'm going to skip probably through through most of it. I'll just, I would put my own icon there, but I'm just going to be happy with the DF for now. Uh, I'm going to be happy with their colors, but you can kind of see they let you customize it based on your brand. Yeah, let's do a nice little red there. Now, integrations, very nice. Uh, I can integrate with Google Calendar for sure. That's important, which are cloud storage. There's Google Drive, there's Dropbox. It looks like some other time management, project management systems. Looks like that's Outlook, so a lot of integrations, but I'm going to skip that for now. Uh, right now, I'm going to say just me. Hide team features if I do that. So actually, I'm going to say me and others because I want to see all the features. So I'm going to pick that, and I'll just call it um, the Tech Smart Bosses Team. I think I got to put the apostrophe after the S on that one. Uh, I'm not going to invite anybody else at this point. I can put my company logo there, but I'm just going to skip through this. And now let's create a space for your workflow. All right. Name of your space. Again, I'm going to call this Tech Smart Bosses Space. And do you want to enable click apps for your space? I think this is a lot of those features that they were talking about. It looks like some are turned on and some are turned off by default. I do like priorities on my task. You know, I'm not into time tracking. So that looks like I don't have to have that clutter up my environment. So I think this is where the ClickUp 
concept comes from it. All those individual features you can kind of turn on and off. Like I don't care about time estimates or time tracking. And I do have multiple assignees in some cases per task. So that's, that's pretty cool. And you can adjust them anytime. And what statuses do you want? Well, for now I'm going to do simple. But I definitely like custom in the future. But let's do simple for now. And integrations and the Slack. You know, I'm a big fan of Slack. Zapier, huge fan of Zapier. Uh, we won't add those now, but I'm glad they're there. And they, they give you the ability to import tasks from some of the major providers that you might be using. Very nice. And let's go change the world and have some fun. I, I mean, I like their messaging. It's, it's fun. It's, it's a, it looks like a, uh, a, a playful app, good team behind it working on it and now we're in there so looks like I'm gonna skip this uh, little video if I can let's see I don't see, let's maybe I gotta play it all right okay I, I could go right into playing with it all right so they preloaded me some example project which is always nice not to have a blank dashboard from scratch so this gives me the ability to kind of click about me so you know honestly I'm looking at this it looks it's laid out a little bit like a sauna, so it, it, with the with the spaces, projects under the spaces, and then you've got lists. It looks like here, um, and then you've got your 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 task over here, assignees that you can flip between and see their individual tasks. So I'm gonna close down their wizard. Let's let's click around and look at some stuff. Let's look at what's what's inside a task. Rearrange. I mean, actually, this looks very much like a sauna, honestly, from working with a sauna. Let's click on this. And look at their task view. Um, I won't go through their wizard there. So title, description, looks like you can put in images in line, which is pretty cool. We've got an animated GIF there. Uh, you can add subtasks, checklists, which is always nice. Reorder, put in attachments, which is nice. Uh, you can set it to be recurring. Uh, what else can we do up in here? Make a subtask dependency. I mean, I, this is not like software that just popped up. This is mature software. So I can't, I mean, you can see that there's so much that if you're new to project management, it could probably be a little overwhelming to you. If you are very familiar with it, you understand what all these kind of things mean and, and what they do. Um, and you've got the power to kind of customize your workflow uh, in in this tool based on what you do in your organization, which is nice. Now, and make it a new one. I can pick the location, so they got like a little breadcrumb navigation navigation here, which is nice. Look, I could do a favorite to pop that over into a favorite section, most likely. Pick a position. All my what you see is what you get. Editor here, adding. So this is pretty pretty straightforward. I'm not seeing off the top here how I would assign that to someone oh here it is assign so very easy to do that step create an open I mean this I mean yeah I mean they 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 pretty much loaded in every potential feature you can imagine here I can create new spaces I can probably create new projects here yep let's take a look at and this is the team space and looks like I got a things assigned to me as well and including comments so Lots of stuff here. What's under here? Your own personal note-taking machine. That's pretty cool. Little area right within the tool. Keeps you inside the tool. Let's take a look under here and see what we got. I like this menu structure. There's a lot of information in a simple menu. I can make new teams. Uh, let's look at these click apps and integrations. So now on the free plan, you don't get all the integrations. But here you'll see those click apps we talked about. I've got six turned on, looks like eight in total. I didn't turn these time tracking ones on, but I can come right back in here and enable it. So that, that's that's pretty nice. Let's look at the integrations. Anytime I want to go in here and set up Slack, boom, right there. Zapier, pretty cool. They've got an API coming out, which is nice. They've got also, that's, that's pretty straightforward stuff there. Import kind of saw that's so all the stuff we skipped we can get to let's see I can invite other admins let's see uh, yeah, I'm not gonna put an email address in there spaces very okay here I can make my custom statuses I can make a private space so kind of like I mean honestly this is looking like a little bit like Microsoft technology where there's a million ways to do one task 
that does add some um, some com- some some complexity. But I will say that they've got a nice user interface and user experience, so it's it's not difficult to know what the meanings of their icons and how to operate. But but again, if you're new to project management, there's there's two sides of the coins here. This is great. It's affordable, and you're going to be able to do a lot. But you'll probably have a little bit of a learning curve if you're not if you're not used to working in project management systems. If you are used to working in project management systems, kind of like I'm just kind of zipping through this and checking out everything, you'll be able to set this up really fast for your team. And that's what I'm hearing some of uh, the people uh, that I uh, hear from are saying on, on how they love this tool so much. Uh, so hey, it's it's pretty cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig in some more and take a take a take a deeper look at it. But if you're looking for a very easy affordable project management tool ClickUp is a very mature seems to be a winner I mean this is not some some tool that just popped up overnight this this tool has been around a while and you can kind of see that they've listened quite a lot to their customers and they've got a pretty robust um, project management tool here hey if, if you like this video subscribe to our YouTube channel check out what we're doing at techsmartboss.com we've got a newsletter that goes out every week and we also are doing a lot on social media we have a podcast that you might like uh, so subscribe to the YouTube check out all our other things and stay tuned for the next video